I have phoned you before on this subject, but I didn't make myself clear. Um, it's about a bunion operation I had, and I understand I, sound, I signed the consent form and a consequence I think, of that. I think I remember your call, Pat. Um, we don't get many bunion calls into the ABC <laughs> Liga. I seem to recall, forgive me if I'm wrong, I seem to recall having to try to draw you into the point and to ask me a question quite a few times. Uh, not really. No? Anyway, the doctor fractured my one of the bones in my foot. Um, but at my six-week post-op um, consultancy, he denied it. He said it wasn't fractured. So I left that hospital and went to another hospital. Was that, was was that with an X-ray or without an X-ray? With, a, with an X-ray. I've, I've got them in my hands. I've got all the notes. So, and so, I so, so, the, the notes. so the first doctor did an X-ray and said your foot wasn't oh, fractured? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. he did. But he denied it was fractured. Okay. And I'm a retired nurse and I could see it was fractured. OK. So I went to another hospital. who They X-rayed it again and said, yes, it is fractured. The point is... It's a, over a year later, because it was the year last May, and it's still fractured. It's healing slowly, but it's still fractured. But I went to Powell's, made a complaint about him, and I've got that in writing where he apologises, but he said he didn't see a fracture. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. I've got just to put, Pat, I, I, I will let you talk, but just answer this for me. You're a nurse. You saw the fracture on the X-ray. Did you point it out to him and say, no, you're wrong, there it is? Yeah, and he said, don't worry your pretty little head about it. It's not a fracture. What, he used those words, or is that you putting a spin he on it? He used those words, exactly. OK. I mean, I'm just upset that I'm in a lot of pain. Mm. I've got numbers, electric shocks in my foot now, and he denied it. And the second hospital, I had an X-ray just two weeks ago. They said it's still fractured over a year later, but it's healing slowly. And I just wondered if I've got any redress. Well, I mean, because yes. he denied it. You don't have redress because he denied it, unless there was a failure to diagnose. Which, sorry, unless the the time between him denying it and you getting it diagnosed by another doctor caused a, a deterioration a day okay so it wasn't going to have caused a deterioration in the condition the, the no, failure to, di- to the next hospital yeah. the same the f- day i left that the failure hospital. to diagnose for a day won't have caused any worsening of the condition then so you're not going to get any compensation for his his let's be kind his failure to spot it let's yeah. be less kind and say his uh complete porky pie coupled with a quite outrageously sexist and condescending statement towards you that's right. Um, that won't give you any compensation. You might, however, be entitled to compensation for him getting the bunion operation wrong in the first place if he fractured your foot through negligence. But that part of the uh, consent form, that was a risk that he could that fracture was a risk. my foot. OK. In, in which case, Pat, I, I hate to say it, but I don't think you're going to have any right to compensation. If, if he didn't fracture your foot through negligence, it was just a risk of the surgery. The fact that he didn't diagnose it whether honestly failing to see it or dishonestly lying to you doesn't entitle you to compensation it might mean that his professional body would take a fairly dim view if you put a complaint in about him and that might be something you want to do yeah yeah but it's not going to entitle you to compensation i'm afraid because it didn't make your the lie didn't make your condition worse does that make sense yeah but i'm still suffering over a year later what do you want me to do about that pat in the nicest way I just thought I'd check on the uh, misdiagnosis. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've given you my answer, Pat. I'm sorry. I can't really do much more. That's all right. Well, thank you very all much right. for your help. Thank you. All right. And I do appreciate the call. And I'm sorry about the pain that you continue to be in. At least it's healing, which is good news. 